Good morning. Happy Wednesday. How's everyone doing? Checking my lights here a little bit. Um, good morning, Ellen. How are you? Hi, Anita. Good morning, everybody. I didn't know if anybody would be up for this today since it's sort of... Hi, Allie. Hi, Lisa. Um, we're kind of rolling into the holiday. I still have work to do. Hi, Michael. So it's kind of like our regular old work day, but I didn't know if everybody would be vacationing already. Hi, Carol Ann. So this is what I decided to paint this morning. Let me flip this around here. Just a flip. I'm going to do cranberries. I took this picture at market the other day and... Um, oh, you're off school and can watch it live. Oh, wonderful, Susie. Peaceful day. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Peaceful day. That's wonderful. Um, gosh, what did I do with my paintbrushes, though? Oh, that's something. Uh, smushed here in a corner. Let me see if I can find brushes to use because work. I don't know where. I thought I washed my brushes and brought them into my studio, but I think I forgot. Um, but I'll use what I mean, it's not look. Look, it's not like I don't have any brushes to pick from. Look at them all. But, you know, you get your favorites. It's the craziest thing. They're all like the same brush, but there are certain, like, four brushes that I use over and over again, no matter how many I have next to me. It's crazy, right? Let me get my medium out myself awake here it is pretty and it's it's always a fun let me see I see a light in the it's hard to keep things light without having light reflecting onto what I'm working on let me just shoot that making that light go up so that you don't see the reflection of it but I guess that's not too bad um no I don't even know what I was talking about whoops <laughs> but it's always fun to uh paint um, like circles, it's our, uh, not circles, you know what I mean, like balls. It's fun to challenge yourself, like to get, make them look dimensional. I still find it challenging, like as much as I do it. <clears throat> what did Ellen say? Did I miss something fun? Ellen got lots of new paints. Oh, in New York City this weekend. Oh, how fun. I love that photo and post of you and your husband. That's so neat. So how many, was it your anniversary, Ellen? Is that why you went to New York? I forget. I did read it, but my terrible memory, I forget what it was. I think it was your anniversary. Or was it your birthdays? Did it feel good to be in New York? I bet it did. I mean, it always does. But I haven't been there since, since, um the pandemic, I might just, I might just go in here and be crazy. I'm just going to block in the red areas and not even try to do shapes. Is that being lazy? I don't know. Is it a good idea? Maybe. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, instead of get, getting lost in like all the shapes right now, because this area is mostly red. We'll see how it works out. I could regret this. It might not be a good plan or it might keep it loose and have me not get too caught up in where each little cranberry is in the very beginning of the process because we can carve them out later instead of getting lost in that now. We'll see. Or I could say that was a bad plan. What am I missing here? Beautiful. It is beautiful. Okay. I love my bird ornament. If anyone was thinking about getting one, do it. They're gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Michael. I have um, I have two more that I'm going to hopefully list today. An owl and another cardinal. I think it's a cardinal. They're so fun. I have to do, you know, my little photo shoot and everything. That's the te most tedious part of it is photographing them and loading them onto my website. I wish I enjoyed that process more than I do. Oh, and Ellen, you had written to me, you had the ornaments and said if, about photographing them. I could do like maybe a little 
lesson in that or something. It is hard though. It's really hard to get good photos of things. 41 years, oh my gosh, that's wonderful. How cool, yeah, happy anniversary. I would say it felt good to be in the city. People seem very responsible, lots of mask wearing. Good, so you felt safe. It takes forever to photo, yes, it does. Photograph them, list them on the website. It's like, I just, I actually dread doing that part of the process. And not because I don't like doing it, it's more how much time it takes. Like I feel like it's taking time away from me being able to paint or whatever, because I'm doing that kind of stuff instead. Um, it's a necessary evil, right? I just love these boxes. Yeah, it's fun to see all the cranberries are everywhere at market now because of people making cranberry sauce. Like I don't, you don't see them as much other times of the year. We don't make homemade cranberry sauce. I've never done that. It's just one of those things that it's just as easy to buy it. And my husband likes that plain old jelly canned kind like Ocean Spray. So we get that and I get another one. Admin of blogging takes so much longer than the creating. I know. It is crazy how much time it all takes. Mm -hmm. And you especially, Michael, you make it look easy and fun. And I know that it can be, but a bigger part of it is, is, isn't easy or fun. And I know you're supposed to, like, batch things. Like, I'm so not a batcher. I... I really do photograph the thing I paint in the morning that day, and I know that's not how you're supposed to do it. But I can't get ahead of myself enough not to. I did it once, but my husband also likes the jelly can-shaped one. Yeah, yeah, it comes out in the big shape. I think it's... Um, I was having trouble already. We went grocery shopping with my mother-in-law, on Monday because we had a, a party for my husband's co-worker who's changing jobs last night here at our house and they were we couldn't find um what couldn't we find gosh my brain's not working this morning we couldn't find breadcrumbs like they were sold out of breadcrumbs already like pe there's a lot of people that still have not gotten their breadcrumbs <laughs> it's like I guess you could always get bread and just um, do it yourself, but I think he did find them somewhere else to make stuffing. But yeah, I don't know how we're running out of stuff already. <clears throat> I'm having a sip of my coffee. I didn't have enough. Okay, so I'm looking for my dark areas now. Um, this is probably here. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Christina. So does everybody have work today? Or, um, <clears throat> are you getting ready for Thanksgiving? We're having our family here at our house, so it'll be fun. That's the next thing to get ready for. Good morning, Gail. Morning, Sheila. All right, I have some more darks over here. <clears throat> Very dark. Alex says I'm painting windows for the neighborhood. That has to be like really great, like get to get you in the spirit. They're so cute and so much fun. Like do all the little shops now, is that right in your neighborhood? Are right, you're in Queens, right? Is that where you are? I think so. And like does everyone know you now to call you and say, I need my window done too? I bet it's fun because everybody probably stops to talk to you. Prepping for Thanksgiving. We have it here. Only nine people. That's what we're going to have eight, I think, today, tomorrow. It's 
tomorrow? Yeah, it's tomorrow. And we're gonna do, we do a, a 5K run too in the morning at Millersville. And my son and his girlfriend will run and Isabel. My daughter, Emily, won't be here until later because she's going to her fiance's family's celebration and then they're coming here later in the day. But it'll be fun to go do the turkey trot. Allie, do you paint on the inside or the outside of the window? That's a good question, Ellen. Yeah, which is it? I did one in Manhattan Monday and the rest in Queens. It's fun. It looks like so much fun. Although I bet I bet it's a good workout. Like it probably is hard, like exercise on your arms to paint up high, to paint something that large. Yeah, I wish I lived near you. I'd come see you. That would be fun, right? Why do I have these colors? Do I need another color? Um, some my blue pigment sticks a little wonky. Yep, and the turkey trot. Yep. We've done it many years. Some years we go away. Um like to Mike's family and some years we stay home and when, whenever we stay home we usually go do that. So Millersville's a, a school that's not too far from where I live. Actually Emily, my daughter Emily went there for a while. color so this is a different shape I cut this this um, when I, I was making these my little panels this one's four by six and it's like not a standard size so I find a little wonky to get the grid right on it but um, I think I pretty much have it close can always wing it if it's not. Now I have this. That's good. I think that's a good start. Um, I'm just thinking if it's a little too, um, not spontaneous enough, I'm going to add, I'm going to yellow green in there. I feel like it needs a little non-literalness, a little spunk. I think I was getting too literal with my colors and then and then I get lost in that and I don't want it to be that literal like colors that aren't necessarily really in there I think that's good all right so now I have to pick, mix up cranberry colors and those teals which are really fun colors so let me move you down here Lennon says, good morning. It's been a long time since I've logged on. Your painting is better than every. It's great to be back. Oh, I'm glad you're back, Amy. It sure is fun. <clears throat> I have a big one I hope to work on this weekend, and I have a few commissions that I still need to get done by Christmas, so I'm going to stay on task. I think it's going to be hard to ship things out. So anything that I'm going to make and ship, I'm going to have to do pretty quickly. Like I ordered a print for, someone ordered a print from me. And I ordered it weeks ago and it keeps getting caught up somewhere. It just keeps not, every day it says it's going to be here by nine. 
and not only is it not here, it's like I don't know where it even is. Why shipping's just going to be awful this year. It's a little too purple. Not that I can't use it. I mean, that purple's nice for my dark darks, but let me make that a little more red. That looks very much like what I'm aiming for. Let's take a little bit of that and add more red into it. I think I'm going to need more of my real red color. This is Vasari's Permanent Bright Red. It's a great, great vibrant red. I use it in Cardinals a lot. lighter I'm going to put out a little bit of my liquid, which I don't use very often, but I feel like this paint's very thick today. Just put a little liquid out to um, make it a little more fluid. So I know I'm going to get frustrated. Sometimes I get lazy and don't feel like adding that in, and it really does make a big difference if my paint's too thick. don't like the way it smells. Take a little bit of this and desaturate it. some of those teals. Move that out of the way. Um, I have this color. This is a great color that I recently got and I love it. It's Cobalt Turquoise Light, which is a great color to start with for that. I might add a little bit of green into it. and then lighten it. I don't know if I have quite enough of that. Good morning, Susan. Did I miss you guys saying anything? Yeah, where's everybody joining in from? I don't think I missed anything. I was just looking back through. Good. So I think because I have shadow areas that aren't, I think I want to make, take a little bit of this dark purple shadow and add a little bit of this teal into it for my shadow areas. I might have got too light. A little brown. That's nice. All right, let's start with that. Very simple palette. I'll try and keep this simple too. I don't get lost in all the cranberryness of it. The colors really are beautiful. I love the the box and the red, the box, the teal and the red together. 
gonna use a pretty large brush that'll keep me loose, hopefully. So now I'm just going to kind of map in where my darkest darks are. I could go a little darker in here. I do yeah I guess I should work on the dark areas of the, the berries first and then come around and work on the um, the box itself sometimes you have to think a little bit strategically too of what colors you put down next to what because some colors um, like if you'll pick up the colors around it it could throw it way off you know what I mean? So I have to think sometimes the how I want to tackle it, kind of. Look how different those colors are. Those are like a real deep cranberry and those are real bright cranberry. It is nice to be able to go to market and buy my cranberries like in the cool box like that. I love that. <clears throat> Michael, do you make your own cranberry sauce? Do you serve, that's a good question, do you serve Thanksgiving at your house like for your family? And Christmas, because your house is so beautiful because of all your, your blogging and everything. It'd be a shame not to have everyone get to enjoy it. Look at where my dark areas need to be. And if I map it out correctly, you know, I should just be able to go lighter and lighter with my colors and have it just kind of naturally blend. And that will form the shapes that I need, hopefully. Let me see. Oh, I might be missing stuff here. Good morning from Michigan, Louisville, Kentucky, California, Durban, South Africa. Pitch black Seattle. It's pretty early here. Gabby, what time is it? Three hours earlier than here? Is that right? I think Seattle's three hours earlier. Ontario, Canada. Irma says, good morning. Morning, y'all from sunny Texas. Michael says, no, my mom does it. She makes her own cranberry sauce. Homemade is so much better. Yeah, maybe I'll get inspired and try and do that. That would be fun. I think I'm in charge of the mashed potatoes. Um, it's really easy to make and you can do it days in advance. Oh, I like anything that you can do days in advance. Maybe I should try and do that. All right, there's a dark area in here. It's not quite dark enough. But from S-U-I-Z-A, Suiza, Suiza. It's very dark down here. I'm 
there's a bright little piece of red popping through back there. I'm going to leave space for that to happen. <clears throat> it's sort of fun just the way it is, isn't it? I always do love it when it's not um, so polished. Gave it just what it needed, that little bit of I feel like I don't quite have it. I'm missing a little cranberry up here, but that's all right. No one will miss it. That's giving it just the right amount of dimension without doing with doing very little with it, just letting the colors blend. later. Oh, sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm thinking hard. You can get those little um, cranberries to look dimensional. Now these, these are um, very dark. And then these are bright. I'm going to add a little bit here to pull this behind the other one. I left a little texture in that one. I don't know if you can see that, but I love how that looks. I'm going to try and let that stay. This needs to go. morning honey how's it look Good. I like it thanks Z came down to see me he's home from school till Sunday so it's been a fun few days having her around. What are you making for breakfast, Isabel? Maple. Mm. And I spread my hair for a bit. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Thank you. That's so gross. Yeah. Oh, God, I had a little piece of my... Anita says, hi, Izzy. step back and look I feel like it's getting very dark but I'm gonna go in and put my lightest lights in at the very end it's always hard to be patient like I feel like I need to do that to make sure it's not going too dark but then somehow it always falls apart if I get ahead of myself and do that And then I'll have to kind of look for areas where I have hard and soft edges too. I need to have a few harder edged areas. Because right now it's all pretty soft. It'll be dark in here. <clears throat> Right one back here. 
Oops, I didn't even have anything on my paintbrush there. And a little dark there. So, what's everybody having this morning? Coffee or tea? I need a little bit more of my coffee. This could be a two-pot morning. Okay, that has, this needs to go darker right here because where this meets the one behind it, the one in front is actually darker. <clears throat> Coffees, me too, I love coffee. morning, Bill. Is Emerson watching? All right. Get where like the dark part of the box is. I think I could go in and do my lights now. I think so. I'm just kind of looking at it and thinking about um, if I'm missing any. This needs to go a little lighter here. taking a lot more thinking than I thought it, I than I thought it would more thinking than I thought it would need this teal teal or turquoise teal I never know what's teal and what is turquoise like why why are there two different words that are a similar color teal and turquoise Little spots, okay. All right, I could do a little bit of my light box area. Let's see how this looks. Um. <clears throat> I love them both, but I don't know the difference either. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Me neither. I guess I should look it up. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need some really light in that area too of the, the box. My four-year-old granddaughter is watching with me and amazed with the process. Oh, that's fun, Susan. Teal is more green. Okay. Teal. So what am I? I'm aiming for turquoise, I guess. I'm going to get this to go around. around this corner here. There, that gives it a little personality. <clears throat> Let's do that here. Two. And he says you're doing turquoise, perfect color. And 
now like these light very very light areas I'm pretty much using straight out of the two of my um, video blue extra pale because <clears throat> it gives a nice lightness to it without being white and I like the green showing a little bit I think I'll do some light areas of the boxes <coughs> I mean the berries <clears throat> I'm gonna get a little bit smaller brush though <clears throat> I don't want to get too precious with it or <clears throat> um, too detailed, but just pull out light, light areas. <coughs> and blend it a little bit. Oh, uh, what brand is the Video Blue? Oh, it's Vasari. That's the tube. Vasari Video Blue Extra Pale. This is lighter right in here. There's little tiny details of trying to get them to look more dimensional. I have to pull my sleeve up. I have to put my elbow down to keep my arm. <clears throat> um, I don't want to get my shirt messed up. I always get paint on all of my clothing. I always prop my elbow on my, on my table when I'm doing the detail parts. <clears throat> Are they looking dimensional? <coughs> this, this one, I'm not feeling like it's coming forward. I'm going to have to play with that a little bit. I think it's too dark. I think maybe that's what my problem is. I think I need to go in here and lighten this a little bit because it is dark against uh, on that back edge, but it's not dark. Just bits of it are. I still have to put light, light highlights in too. <clears throat> now does it look a little flat I think maybe I just need my light highlights are my shadow areas receding enough I'm just saying out loud the things I'm thinking this back a little bit. Like that. Right, look for my latest lights. <clears throat> I don't know if I need white or to, for it to be blue or purple. I'm gonna kind of feel 
you look at like the highlights on the berries, they're kind of random looking. They're just little spotlights kind of here and there, but it's just the way the light's hitting them. This one I could do a little, a little nub on there a little bit maybe. This can go a lot lighter in here. Yeah, that needed to go lighter. That helped a little bit. That gave that a little more dimension right there. <clears throat> That's definitely red. The, the highlights are definitely helping it <clears throat> have a little bit more dimension. <clears throat> um, I'm just sitting back. It's always good to step back from your painting and give it a look to see what you're missing, what's working, what isn't working. And sometimes that doesn't even help. <laughs> Yeah, I think my darkest darks were not quite um, sexy enough. I've got to add a little bit more dark dark in here. <clears throat> Maybe down here. And right here, this needs to come around as a better edge because it you can't tell which is the shadow and which is the berry. And now I'm going to get maybe a small brush and do a few little <clears throat> um, like in here. adding the littlest bit of like some of the little bottom detail just it gives it um, a little more the feeling that it is a cranberry it doesn't need much getting close. Um, you see anything I'm missing? Any light, light areas that I need to add back in? Do they look dimensional enough? Vibrant enough? You always need to have a, a, what, a dark, a light, um, <clears throat> a dull and a bright. Oh, I got these little brushes. They're from Rosemary and Company. What is it? It's called a Pointed Round Series 301. I have two of them. Look how tiny that is. It's itty bitty little. I think I have another one here too. It's maybe even smaller than that. It's nice to have that like for bird's eyes or little itty bitty things that you want to do. I don't use it very often, but I do I do like having it as a resource. Let me do a 
little in here. A little more of that red red and then I think I could soon be finished but I need to add a little a little pop of the vibrant red in it seems to have kind of left a little bit Now I think I'm fussing with it. Okay, so let me sign it. Whenever I start thinking that I'm, you know, doing things and it's not getting me any more forward, that it's time to sign it. And let's pull the tape off and see how it looks. Just have to be careful pulling the tape at that very top corner because it can pull off the... Thanks, Anita. Throw my tape away. All right, so there it is. All those fun little cranberries. All right. <clears throat> so there's my reference image and my finished painting and my very simple palette. I didn't even use many of my muted colors. I almost could have done it just with that row, I think, and these couple of colors right here. So, and there it is again. So, thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. It was fun. I hope you guys all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, <clears throat> and we'll see you again next week. Um, bye. Have a great day.